business. So what I do, I'm a graphic designer. I do customized apparel um, based on the things you like. So you'll tell me what you want. I'll design it, shoot it back to you, see if you like it, and then we go from there. And what made you want to start your custom design business? I ordered a lot of apparel from other vendors, um, such as PC3 um, and another gentleman that works with me. And I've been giving out so much money, so in order to save money, I had to start designing myself. Now, with the designing process, what's, what's the process like as far as designing your apparel? So the customer will typically tell me what they want or what event it's for. And with that, I will look up things. Um, I will design, take the, her ideas plus my ideas, and then I will shoot them back to her. So. And how long does the process usually take from the time they select, give you an order until the time it's done? No longer than seven days. So it's three to seven business days. And, I mean, I know you don't advise it, but what's the process with the short notice? Like? So, with the short notice, um, it's just an additional fee. Um, I don't mind doing short notice if I'm not swamped already. So. And how much is the fee? The fee is about 5 to $10, depending on what they're ordering and how many colors. And that's per shirt? Yes, sir. All right. Now, with the ordering process, do you... You want your customers to have a minimum amount of orders before they place an order with you? Or no. how does that work? They can order one shirt, they can order 50 shirts. A shirt is a shirt. How long have you been doing your apparel business? Since December of 2018. So, what is the biggest, I guess, I don't want to say lesson of. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far since you started your apparel business? Um, business and friendship separating them. <laughs> so, um, because friends sometimes want things for the low low mm -hmm. or the hookup, but it it'll put you out of business. So um, it's not. I look out for everybody, um, and I have reasonable, affordable, reasonable prices that anybody can purchase. And so, just touching on being an entrepreneur, did you always see yourself as an entrepreneur since you were younger, or did it just kind of happen? It just kind of happened. Um, I've always seen myself um, as an educator, which I do that full time, but it just happened. So, I needed some shirts for my cheerleaders, and I didn't want to pay for them, so I made them. And what would you tell someone that wants to get in or become an entrepreneur, but they're a little nervous? Anything worth having is worth working for. So it's not going to be easy starting out, but it will be worth it. What would you say would be one word or one phrase, in your opinion, that you want people to take from the logo uh, of your apparel line? Family. Um, family is everything. A family that prays together, stays together, and builds together. So, I would say when they hear M5, they'll know it's a family-oriented company. What makes your uh, apparel line different from other apparel lines? Um, I feel like I connect with the customers first. Um, it's customized based on what the customer wants. Um, the communication line is always open. I submit my ideas to the customers and they tell me what they want, what they don't want, and I change it right away. So I feel like that and that communication line sets me apart from everyone else. All right. And just tell us about the display that you have. Just tell us a little about what, where the ideas from some of the t-shirts that you have on display for us came from. So first we're going to start with Thicker Than a Snicker. Um, that's for my plus size women who quite thick. Um, I saw it on Instagram. I was inspired by it, so I created it. Um, Sarah's in Walt Middle School right here. This is a shirt that I created for some of the staff members at my campus. Um, so those are our colors, and that's the school shirt. M5 Designs, that's my own line that I'm launching. Um, it will be coming out soon with sportswear and um, sportswear and hats. Um, 
this is Walking by Faith. This is my 4th of July edition. Something to wear on 4th of July. And I have a phenomenal queen over there. It's my Afro line, my black Afro woman. Um, it's her line, Black Women Are Phenomenal. And I have a, a tumbler which says Coffee and Jesus that I also create. What is it like from your point of view of a black woman being a business owner? It's empowering. Um, I can honestly say that it's rewarding because I know younger black um, children, women, girls, ladies, they're looking up to me and all things are possible with Christ. So with that, it's very inspiring knowing that someone's looking up to me, that you don't always have to work for someone else. Um, you can do it yourself. As far as just the designs and the logo, as far as the sizing, can how does it work? Can they be printed anywhere from like the sleeve, the full length of the shirt? How does that work? Yes, I, I'm one of very few graphic designers um, who does graphics to fit the size of the shirt. Um, graphics can be put placed anywhere on the shirt, front, back, sleeve, bottom, top, anywhere. What you like is what I do. So my future products will be my M5 design line. It'll be M5. I'll have basketball shorts, socks, baseball caps, um, armbands, headbands, anything you're looking for. I'll have it pretty much. Um, I have coffee mugs going right now. Um, I can make journals, tablets, different things, and customize to your needs and your life. Y'all need to check me out on Instagram, M5 underscore designs. Follow me, and I'll follow you back.